Anthony, chapter 10. Yes. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. I, I really I am. I am too. Just, I'm uh, breathless to yeah. see what's, 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 ex- what's going to happen next. Yeah, it's exciting to have the cameras rolling uh, and be able to share this with viewers and people who have an interest. It is. But if they weren't, I would still love sitting here and doing this and enjoy it a lot. Totally. Yes. yes, chapter 10. Let's see what Chapter comes. 10 mm-hmm. then in verse 1. Mm. After this, the Lord appointed 72 others. Yes. Or seventy other people, and sent them on ahead of him, by, two by two, into every town and place where he himself was about to yes. go. And he said to them, "The harvest is plentiful, yes. but the laborers are few. Mm. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest mm-hmm. to send out laborers into his harvest. Wow. Go your way. Behold, I'm sending you out as lambs in the midst of wolves. Wow. Carry no money bag." No knapsack, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, say first, peace be to this house. Mm -hmm. And if a son of peace is there, your peace will rest upon him. But if not, it will return to you. And remain in the same house, eating and drinking where they provide. Mm -hmm. For the laborer deserves his wages. Do not go from house to house. Mm. Whenever you enter a town and they receive you, Eat what is sent before you. Yes. Heal the sick in it and say to them, the kingdom of God has come near to you. Yes. But whenever you enter a town and they do not receive you, go into its streets and say, even the dust of your town that clings to our feet, mm. we wipe off against mm-hmm. you. Nevertheless, know this, the kingdom of God has come near. Wow. I tell you, it will be more bearable on that day yes. for Sodom than for that town. Oh my wow. goodness. Wow. Marvelous. Marvelous. Yeah. So, okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the kingdom is everything. Yeah. I mean, you couldn't miss that. Yes. The kingdom of God has come near to you. All this argument about the kingdom present, the kingdom future, is not difficult in any way. There's a sense in which then, if the king has come, all these healing miracles are taking place. That's the yes. kingdom of God. That's that brilliant future yes, being realized in part in the present. Mm-hmm. That's not hard. Yeah. I love this too, uh, and uh, he says the kingdom of God has come near to you. Yes. Something that's near to you is not yet here. No. So he's not saying the kingdom okay. of God has now no, come. No. It's no. not exactly like that, but yes. they're preparatory. Oh, absolutely. And uh, these are preparatory for the eventual coming of the absolutely. kingdom. Absolutely. Use the word uh, down payment. I think we use, yes. use that word a lot. Yes. The down payment, your first installment of that's the right. kingdom, and you're seeing miraculous kingdom like things if you're yes. seeing healing. Mm-hmm. And I know we are not today seeing that degree yes. or level of, and I'm not. I don't think we should be embarrassed by that. No, no, that's it's right. not in God's purpose yeah. to raise the, for us to be raising the dead yeah. necessarily today. He can do it if he wants to. That's right. But we're not seeing that on a regular basis. Yeah. And uh, if that's yeah. up to him, that's yeah. his leave. And if he chooses at some point in the future to do things like that, yeah. that would be up to him. I think. Look so. at the threatening part in verse twelve there, Dan. Mm. I tell you, it'll be better on the day of judgment. Oh my goodness. For Sodom, what happened to them? God wasn't they pleased were, with them, burned them all up. Right. If you refuse destroyed. the message, you are in trouble. That's, you that's better exactly not shake right. your fist at the kingdom message. That's right. No better than Sodom, oh which goodness. is the essence of yeah. evil and wrongdoing. That's right. Yeah. Wow. Mm. And uh, so this uh, whole business in the early part of chapter 10 years yes. rem- reminiscent of when he sent out the 12 exactly. in the beginning of the night. Now it's 70, so we've gone from 12 yeah. to a greater group, 70. That's right. Reminiscent of the 70 nations, I think, yes. originally in the Old Testament. Indeed. Yes, a big cry. It's very systematic. He must have planned all this at night, you know. It's That's right. Very organized. Yeah. Shame on you. Oh, look at this coming. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. Mm. Verse 13. Yes. Uh, woe to you, Chorazin. Yes. Woe to you, Bethsaida. Yes. For if the mighty works done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, setting in sackcloth and ashes. But it would be more bearable in the judgment for Tyre and Sidon wow. than for you. Mm-hmm. And you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? <laughs> you will be brought down to Hades. Oh, wow. The one who hears you hears me, and the one who rejects you rejects me, mm-hmm. and the one who rejects me rejects him who sent me. Beautiful. I love that. Agency to the core. A- agency, yes, wonderful. Absolutely. The person who is sponsored by a sponsor is the equivalent of the sponsor. That's right. 
That's a very beautiful principle, isn't yes. it? And to receive the one that Jesus yes. sent yes. is to receive, is to receive Jesus by extension. Not that that person is Jesus. And right. to receive Jesus is yes. to receive the one who sent him. I like that. By God. extension. By and extension. Not, uh, and, and by extension yes. indeed. And um, But not that he is his own sender. He's not. Mm-hmm. He never says, no. I sent myself. No, no. It's God mm-hmm. who sends him. He is God's one. wonderful agent. Uh, and represents God. So if you yeah. receive Jesus, you receive yes. God. And if, if you, you receive, yeah. if you refuse Jesus, you, you refuse to speak, God. Receive oh, and, oh, exactly. Refuse God. And this shame on woe. You know, yeah. it's oh, very goodness, strong yeah. language. The preaching of Jesus is not mealy mouth. Oh, it? no. it gets your attention because no. woe to you, shame on you, awful right. people. Right. This is not sweet, nice, you know, jolly good chap theology. Right. But if you're the son of God, you speak in black and white, don't you? Why yes, not? indeed. God does, so Absolutely. Jesus does. Wow. His agent. Uh, he just he kind of just goes off on this issue. He's yes. saying, oh my goodness, you, you towns, you've seen wonderful things. You're not receiving this. It's more tolerable for, my goodness, Tyre and Sidon. It's warning. more tolerable for Sodom, for goodness sake, which was destroyed. Oh, my goodness. Warning, isn't it? Yes. Stark warning. Pay attention to this. How could you not miss yeah. the warning? Yeah. Oh my goodness, yes. And uh, against in verse fifteen, against Capernaum, yes. where he had spent a lot of time in yes. Capernaum, you know. So, and yet, yes, there were those in Capernaum who had dev- evidently were yes. absolutely resistant yes. to uh, yes. to his message. And to Capernaum, of course, people know or should know, it means a city or a village of uh, mercy and compassion. Now, yeah. oh, and Kfar is a village. So it should be a merciful, and, and it wasn't because Indeed. they refused their own Indeed. Messiah. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. So then in verse 17, the, the 70, or this translation will say 72, doesn't matter, I don't think. Yeah. But anyway, uh, 70, I would suppose, yeah. uh, have gone out. Now they're coming back with their report. Yes. And I think uh, yes. in verse 17, he yes. says, they returned with yes. joy. Mm-hmm. saying, Lord, even the <laughs> demons are subject to us yeah. in your name. And yes. he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Mm-hmm. Behold, I've given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions mm-hmm. and over all the power of the enemy, mm-hmm. and nothing shall hurt you. Mm-hmm. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. Wonderful. I like the way you dealt this morning, by the way, the Colossians 1.13. Oh, yes. Yeah. Your names are written, inscribed. There's a list of uh, kings in training. Indeed, yeah, that's right. In that sense, you've been transferred. That's right. Is that too difficult? But people want to pick on the one verse, you know, where I'm going to that's right. upset your whole theory. <laughs> it's very narrow-minded. Mm, that's right. So that right. was an excellent comment uh, on Colossians mm. 1.13. Mm. Uh, mm. Occasionally, someone uh, has difficulty with verse 18. I saw yes. Jesus saying, I saw yes. Satan. Satan. Yes. Yes. fall like lightning from heaven yes. no so problem. they're projecting somehow that he was literally back no, no, there no. and that's all that just, is, which that's is just perverse it, actually that's right <laughs> i watched as i as i was getting you to do the steam right. exorcism right. i was watching satan yes. rush to defend his kingdom that's right. but not in a pre-existent life no, before i was born i mean come on that's terribly <laughs> unreasonable like that. and uh, this is uh, tremendous jesus we we do often short the significance of his oh, yeah. role as a prophet. Oh, he was a prophet. Moses was a prophet. Yes. Moses said, Jesus, when he comes, will be a prophet like unto me. So this is Deuteronomy 18, right. of course. So Jesus, as a prophet of God, saw many wonderful things oh, by vision, by, yes. and, yes. you know, tremendous. He was in this in tremendous vision that we saw earlier uh, discussed in the ninth chapter. Yes. That vision of the king, oh, yeah. coming kingdom. He's a prophet. And uh, a prophet so here, he, if he saw, God gave to him to be able to see these things. Mm-hmm. He saw it uh, by projection or he saw yes. it by a vision, whatever it was. But he knew this was coming. But yes. uh, but this is this is wonderful. It has nothing to do with a pre-existent no, no, Jesus. No, nothing. That would be reading utter confusion. Text, right. To be a prophet, the, and people don't know, the Bible calls Jesus the prophet, the Absolutely. prophet of Nazareth. The Absolutely. prophet. Not God the prophet. <laughs> God is not a prophet. Let's get this clear. The prophet right. is somebody sent by God, commissioned by God. Exactly. That's who Jesus supremely is, is the right. prophet. 
exactly. like Moses, but not Moses. Wow. Well, good, we got it. Mm. Verse 21. Yes. In that same hour, he rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding yes. and revealed them to little children. Yes. yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. Yes. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. And no one knows who the Son is except the Father, or who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Wonderful. Verse 23. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then turning to the disciples, he said privately, Blessed are the eyes that see what you have seen. Yes. For I tell you that many prophets and kings desired to see what you see mm. and did not see it, mm -hmm. and to hear what you hear and did not hear it. Oh, my goodness, that's wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. Yes, and didn't hear them. Yes. Yeah. I, I like this. Uh, uh, no one really knows who the Son is except the Father, yes. and no one knows who the Father is except the Son. Yes. And, but that's the very kind of thing, and to those to whom it be revealed. Provided they choose it, That's right. right. Provided they choose it. That's them. right. Yeah. And uh, we were seeing the, uh, the heart of that mm. earlier in the ninth chapter, and uh, when we were looking at verse 18 and on, yeah. where that Peter was one of those to whom it had been revealed. He did see who the Father right. was. He did see who yes. the Son was. We, he was seeing this tremendous... Yes, this and that tremendous was still his free will. He'd given up the fishing business, right? He chose to do that. <laughs> That's right. That was to his credit, by the way. Well done, Peter. Yes. You gave it all up. Now, let me show what, what I can do for you. Absolutely. Yes. Verse 25, and uh, mm. this is a beautiful parable. I love this it parable is. about the uh, Good Samaritan. Yes. Yes. Good, oh, the Good Samaritan, yes. yes. Mm. And behold, a lawyer stood up to put him to the test, <laughs> yes. saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal what a life? Wonderful question. He said to him, What is written in the law? Yes. How do you read it? Yes. And he answered, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind, mm. and your neighbor as yourself. Mm -hmm. And he said to him, You've answered correctly. Do this, and you will live. But he, desiring to justify himself, said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? That's a great question. <laughs> okay, love your neighbor as yourself. Who yes. is my neighbor? Yes. Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, yes. and he fell among robbers who stripped him and beat him and departed, leaving him half dead. Mm -hmm. Now by chance a priest was going down that road, mm -hmm. and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So likewise a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. Mm -hmm. But a Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. Mm -hmm. He went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Mm -hmm. Then he set him on his own animal and brought him to an inn and took care of him. Mm -hmm. When the next day he took out two denarii yes. and gave him them to the innkeeper, saying, Take care of him, and whatever more you spend, I'll repay you when I come back. Which of these three do you think proved to be a neighbor to the man who fell among the robbers? <laughs> yeah. He said, The one who showed him mercy. Mm. And Jesus said to him, you go and do likewise. And that's a text that even those of us who had a very nominal understanding of the Bible know, go and do thou likewise. Isn't that, that rings in our ears. Yes, it does. Like this parable is probably known by people who know nothing practically yes, of the Bible. Absolutely. It's very simple and very sweet, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I've, uh, I've said before, yes. uh, the... If you read and study the, if we say ethics of Jesus, yes, it, of that's wonderful. With people talking about ethics and yes. study ethics, yes, and yes. we have PhDs who worry oh, about yes. ethics. Yes. Well, there has never been greater statements, that's more right. meaningful statements right. of true ethics than those set forward by this man Jesus. Absolutely. Way back Doesn't say it's in right. that yes. first century, and, yes. and I love that. So he can't, hadn't canceled the law. This is this. Sorry, is very much parallel to Mark 12. Yes. Where a friendly Jew says, what's the greatest of all commandments? And then Jesus is highlighted as a Shema Unitarian yes, Jew indeed. to the core. 
And this takes up that same theme. Jesus that. is in favor of loving your neighbor. No one's going to argue with that. Yes. But boy, did they get an argument about Mark 12. Jesus was not a Trinitarian there. <laughs> he was a Unitarian agreeing with the Jew, of course. <laughs> that one, they're not, they're going to balk at, as we yes. say. They don't, they don't this like one that. here, say, yeah, you know, all bring it on. We all, all believe the, in loving our yeah. neighbor. Nothing wrong with that. The Good Samaritan. Yeah. Wow. Well, well, a paradox, yeah. I like it mm. a lot. Mm-hmm. So, uh, wow, well, challenging, isn't it? Oh, challenging to us, uh, to this oh, day, and to yes, people. Yes. Mm-hmm. Verse 38. Mm. Now, as they went on their way, Jesus entered a village, yeah. and a woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. Mm-hmm. And she had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. Yes. But Martha was distracted with much serving. And she went up to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Yeah. <laughs> she had a lot a lot on her, I think. She was just at her wit's end, perhaps. Yes, yes. Tell her then to help me. Yes. <laughs> but the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, yeah. you are anxious and troubled about many things. Yes. But one thing yes. is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion. Yes. Which shall not be taken away from her. That's, I love keep that. the main thing the main thing, right? <laughs> That's right. And this is very true to life, isn't it? That's right. And it's admirable to be doing all the serving. Absolutely. Wonderful. But there's something more important. Yes. To be yes. listening to the teaching of Jesus. Absolutely. I love this. And uh, Jesus is not it, it, you might say a soft reproof. He's yes. not rebuking Martha like no, she's no, an no, evil no. person. She's not. No, no. She loves Jesus. Yes. She loves him yes. and she yes. loves what's going on. She's ministering. Yes. She's concerned, preparing, I suppose, yes. food and, right. and so on. Right. And she's, she's really just about, had, I need my sister in here to right. help me out. Please tell Let's her to understand. come and help me. Yeah. But Jesus uses this opportunity yeah. to say, Martha, yes. Martha, you know, it's okay. It's okay. She's chosen the yeah. best yes. thing that's going to happen here today yes. to be here hearing the word. Yes. Yeah, and use, uh, I think he's the word gentle rebuke. Martha, yeah. Martha. It's not. It's not a fierce no, rebuke. No, that's right. But it gets at a very important point. Yes. It's, the kingdom is everything. Seek first. That's right. The kingdom of God and all of its righteousness. And the Lord's prayer. We should constantly say the word kingdom is twice in the Lord's prayer. Yes. If Absolutely. you aren't centered on the kingdom, if your preaching doesn't reflect the kingdom of God, you don't sound like Jesus. That's exactly right. That's when to be cautious, wow. and careful. You know, yeah. you have to think uh, if uh, what it would have been like to have actually been able to literally sit at Jesus' feet, oh, yes. hear him talk and speak about these yes. things. Yes. Yeah, it's yes. marvelous, I think. Yes, yeah. well, we are doing it. Thanks to Luke. Yes, we are. Right. Luke yeah, has really passed this on to us, hasn't he? Hasn't by it? the miracle of written words <laughs> and reading, the ability to read, it's wonderful. My goodness. Yeah. yeah. It's the best we can do. I mean, they didn't have a camera, did they? No, time. they didn't. Uh, we have the advantage of cameras. Oh, we have that too. Not that's only right. can we read it, but we can share our excitement well, that's right. with other people. That's exactly right. Can't wait to see how many views we get on these. Well, my things, goodness, I should hope there will be a lot. I uh, hope there will be a lot. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, only one thing. I like that. Only one thing. Let's mm-hmm. argue about the word one. Let's not. <laughs> There's only one thing it really can't. So we have our modern ways of saying this vividly, don't we? Mm-hmm. You and I are slightly different according to our American and British English. Yes, yes. But the plain, the plain fact is, if you are not kingdom-centered, you are not a good Christian. Uh, yes. You can talk all the That's loving right. language you like, and right. quote verses here and there. Yeah. If you haven't got the centrality of the kingdom, you're missing. Yes. So get it, right? Get it. Absolutely. But you know, Anthony, yeah. the typical Christian out here today mm. often doesn't know that. No, he doesn't. But because, and I think there's a big reason yes. why, yeah. we are doing our church thing. Yes. Uh, we're doing what uh, Jim Simbola called our yeah. Protestant thing. Yes, you know, we're doing Protestant that. Thing. We're doing our church. Yes. We think that's what this is all yes. about. And uh, certainly we should gather together and certainly yes. we should uh, worship God yes, together. Absolutely. This is all great. But yeah. for goodness sakes, people have lost sight of the power yeah. and the glory and yeah. the illumination that comes by the Word yes. of God. And when you get into the Word for yourself, 
The kingdom uh, is there. The kingdom is there. Right. What is this kingdom business? Over and over that's and over right. again. Yes. We need to absorb what that's about. Totally. It wasn't just for some people a long time ago. No. That's for us. No, it's for it's us. us. It's the only thing that matters, isn't that's it? Right. That's right. Now, I love that. I, I've, in my translation, it's like paraphrase, I've used the word gospel word, not just word, yeah. not any old word, not yes. just the Bible. It's yeah. the kingdom word, the Absolutely. gospel word. Absolutely. If you haven't got that, you haven't got anything. That's right. And that is an absolutely uh, unarguable point. You see, you don't need PhDs. You need the ability to read simple language. Yes. I've got hundreds of books here in my library written about how to be a Christian. Yes. What is the gospel? What are you supposed to do? Many of them never even mentioned the kingdom. Oh my goodness. You know, yeah. that's a very simple yeah. fact yeah. of that's life. Right. It's a fact, nothing to argue about. That's some Christianity right. took a wrong turn somewhere along oh, the way with did. all of this, and they yes. haven't gotten back on track yet. But yeah. that doesn't mean that we as individuals yeah. can't go to the, to the scriptures right. for ourselves and read and, and absorb these wonderful things. Absolutely. And now right. it's right. our faith, not someone else's. And we're we're yes. following what Jesus said, yes. not what someone else yes. says. He said, so, uh, that's right. know, "Get the it for yourself." Saying of uh, J. T. Robinson, "Heaven in the Bible is nowhere <laughs> the destination <laughs> of the dying." That's right. What you could have fooled me to go to funeral service? It's all about going to heaven when you die. <laughs> that's right. That is false. <laughs> it's a grand falsehood which makes the story incomprehensible. Doesn't well, it? You know, it's interesting because mm. uh, I was just thinking about Mary and Martha here. Yes. Mary uh, and Martha's sisters, yes. wonderful people. Mm. But, you know, they told this story, <laughs> I am certain, to a lot of folks in their lives along the way. And somewhere along the way, Luke got this yes. me- this story, yes. this message, too. And yes, probably so directly from them. Why not? Yeah, Luke I would think Luke so. Luke knew these people, yeah. didn't he? Re- uh, Luke was a great researcher. He, he said, was. I went to people that yes. were there. I went to people who yes. were... Eyewitnesses. And, uh, yeah, eyewitnesses of these things. We're uh, so privileged to have that available in book yes. form now, are we not? And more privileged Absolutely. to be able to say it to a that's, camera, that's right. which then takes it out to umpteen millions of people potentially. That's, that's right. quite a privilege. I call that great, by the way. It, not, it, we're not great. No. But the greatness is the inability for people generally to have access to these truths. Yeah, the only things that matter. Absolutely. Why not? That's right. Uh, yeah. It's interesting. We seek no gain. We desire no, no, nothing of anyone. No, no. But to get a grasp of these marvelous, wonderful truths Absolutely. is worth it for everybody. And if we can help yes. anybody along oh, the way in that, Absolutely. then we are most honored to be Very honored. That. Yes, yes, indeed. It's not being done for money. We're not no. expecting you to make money Absolutely out of not. doing this. Heaven <laughs> forbid. I yeah. mean, that's just that's right. crude. You that's know. exactly right. Nothing to do with that at that's all. That's right. 